Okay. How's it going, Leo? I guess I'm back to uh, pre-recording on Instagram. Just because it's got a way better... Just got way better view than the YouTube does. All right. So anyway, let's get into it. This is going to be from my Leo's Sun, Moon, and Rising. Okay. And... Um, Guys, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, the link's in my bio. If you guys have not already done so, please do so. I can't stress enough how much this helps me um, and my channel grow. Okay, and I really do appreciate you guys so much. If you guys want a personal reading, please feel free to um, leave me a donation to my Cash App or my Venmo, which is also linked in the bio or in the description box below. All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the reading for Leo from November 1st to the 7th, 2021. All right, this is going to be for my Leo's sun, moon, and rising. So we're going to go ahead and do um, an intention spread. So um, what is the uh, person that Leo is dealing with? What is their intentions toward Leo? For the week of November 1st to the 7th. Okay, what are their intentions toward my Leos? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, please. I just uh, redid my table. So moving everything around here. So we have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Cups reversed, Eight of Pentacles reversed. Under the deck, we have the Eight of Wands. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so Leo. I'm I'm getting the vibe that your person is wanting to send you a message. Okay. In their subconscious, this is what they're wanting to do. But I am feeling like they're a little bit um, hesitant. Okay, for whatever reason, we're going to go ahead and pull clarifiers on it as well. Um, the Eight of Wands is in their subconscious, okay? This is them wanting to send you a message here. Um, with the Page of Pentacles, this is somebody who's trying to manifest a solid beginning with you, okay, or manifest something solid with you. Um, now, this is for some people, right? Other people, this might be them wanting to uh, manifest um, a new, a new love beginning with somebody. Okay, but I'm thinking that this is towards you because we have the Eight of Cups reversed and this is them not wanting to move on from this. They're not wanting to move on from this situation with you, Leo. Okay, and then with the Eight of Pentacles here, um, also in the reversed, this is kind of pointing towards somebody who is uh, burnt out. Okay, someone who's overworked and they probably feel like undervalued from you. I'm not saying that um, this is, this is true, but this is definitely what they're feeling in the connection with you here, Leo. Um, hmm. Let's go ahead and pull some clarifiers, okay, on the situation here. Spirit, what are their intentions toward Leo? For November 1st through the 7th. What are their intentions? 
Yeah, they're wanting a solid uh, new start with you. They're wanting something new here. But they're taking their time. Oh, I don't see them coming fast. Uh, <laughs> coming towards you fast. Okay, yeah. See the Knight of Cups. It's a pretty slow moving knight in the deck. Okay, this is them taking their time. What are their intentions? Can you clarify these for me? Yeah, there we go. There's that Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Cups reversed and Knight of Cups reversed. Under the deck, we have the Nine of Cups. There's a lot of emotion here. I will say that. A lot of emotion in this connection regarding your partner. Um, so Leo, yeah, this Eight of Cups here is them wanting something new, something solid with you. Something like an offering, right? A new beginning. They're wanting to manifest something solid. Okay, you guys might have never had a solid connection or maybe at one point you did have a solid connection, but then it slowly uh, turned into something else um, or turned into something that wasn't what it was, right? The Queen of Cups is somebody who has emotionally, is they're emotionally distant. It's like they don't want to walk away, right? They don't want to leave the connection, but yet they're not really giving you much emotion either. Okay, this is somebody who's a little um, suspicious as well. They could be coming off suspicious to you, or they could think they could be thinking that you are the suspicious one. Okay, for whatever reason, um, but they're definitely disappointed. Okay, with this Knight of Cups reversed, they are disappointed in the connection here. Um, they feel like it fizzled out. Okay, or maybe it turned out from from what um from what from what it used to be right is definitely what i'm picking up on here um and then with the knight of cups here in uh, their subconscious this is them wanting abundance this is them wanting satisfaction in the connection with you this is them wanting a new level of happiness okay and intimacy um and they're wanting to have something that is happy and fulfilled, something that makes them feel fulfilled within themselves. So it's almost like this person's a little bit, um, they have some like narcissistic tendencies, right? I feel like they expect you to be the one to, to fulfill all the, all of this within them. Okay. It's like almost like they, they want all this stuff with you, but it's like, there's no action, right? The only thing that th that's action-based is a message that they're probably going to be sending you this week. It's probably going to be a text message or a phone call. Uh, it could even be an email, okay? Something to, uh, to that sort. So let's go ahead and um, let's pull some energy oracle here. Yeah, I feel like they're trying to figure out a strategy here, okay, because something is uh, not balanced in the connection. Who's spirit, what do you have for my Leo's sun, moon, and rising, please? For November 1st to the 7th. Mm hmm. They're being very patient. Wow, for they're 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 being very patient for uh wanting to they're wanting to take a journey with you. They might be wanting to travel with you, okay? But they definitely want this door to romance with you, Leo.
Okay, we have man holding a heart in the reverse. Again, I do feel Leo like this person is just not being emotionally there. Okay, it's like they're desiring all of this with you, but it's like they're not showing you the emotions that you need to move forward in the connection here. Yeah, uh, we have first chakra, Archangel, Archangel Michael in the reverse. This is the root chakra. And then journey, okay. Under the deck, we have the crown chakra, Archangel Uriel. Okay, so Leo, I'm feeling like, you know, it's like this person once was everything to you and vice versa, right? You are everything to them. Uh, but with this man holding a heart in the reverse is, like I said, somebody who's not willing to give or show the emotions needed for a romantic connection. It's like, how do you expect someone to be in a romantic connection but not show any emotion, right? You guys are definitely disconnected, okay? And I feel like you're both shut down emotionally toward each other. Um, but I do feel like they want to open up to you. Or if if they don't, they really need to. They need to open up to you. Um, and, and just handle the deep emotions. It's almost like they're afraid of it, you know? Um, and then we have the first chakra, number 35. Uh, this is in the reverse. This is your stability and your security, right? They might be in a place where they feel very unstable, they might feel feelings of insecurity. They might be a little depressed here. Okay. They might have some financial worry or they might be a little desperate. Um, and they might be taking, uh, they might be actually physically moving. Okay. Or they want, they might want to travel with you or relocate. So this could either be on their own. They might be wanting to physically move or they just might be traveling perhaps even for the holidays that are coming up. This could even be you traveling, okay? Uh, but I think in your your intuition, you know what you need with this connection, right, Leo? It's like you know. It's like you know if this connection is going to suit you or not, right? Because you know how they are, how they've been in the past. And it's almost like if they're not showing you what you need emotionally, because this is a romantic connection, it's like why even bother, right? So let's go ahead and pull some soul journey. Spirit, what do we have for my Leos? November 1st through the 7th. I feel like there's going to need to be some kind of honesty with this connection. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Um, it's almost like you need to open up here and, and really be honest with yourself about the connection, Leo. Oh my gosh, sorry. So we have health, right? I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. I feel like you're working on your physical health. You're working on your mental health, your emotional health, and your spiritual health here. Okay, we have humor. So I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. I feel like you're beginning to see this connection and, and not be so deeply involved with it as you were in the past it's almost like you're taking things a little bit lighter here this can also be your person too it's almost like yeah they really want a connection with you but they're not really going to put the work in you know it's almost like they're just letting it flow okay maybe they're taking some time out okay maybe they're actually realizing that they need some time um with themselves here in order to grow um, you have happiness right I'm aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path 
So Leo, you're definitely on the right path, okay? Let's pull two more here. Denial. So I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Um, are you in denial about this connection, Leo? For what it truly is? I think you need to follow your intuition here uh, when it comes to the connection with this person. Yeah, you see, we have failure. So I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. You guys might be feeling like this connection has just really turned into a failure. Or they might be feeling that um, the connection with you has just been a failure. Okay? Um, but whatever it is, if this is an opportunity for you guys to grow separately apart from each other. Because there is love there. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. You have to see the good in this connection and really what, um, for what it is here, Leo, okay? Um, obviously, this was a committed relationship, and obviously, this was something that the two of you needed to go through, okay, in order to grow apart from each other, and I kind of am feeling that you're both uh, realizing this, okay? Okay. Let's go ahead and pull some um, Island Wellness, right? Let's see what their intentions are. Spirit, what are the intentions um, of Leo's person toward them for the week of November 1st to the 7th? What are their intentions? Okay. Leo, they definitely want to talk to you. So it says, interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text, call, email, and hovering. Okay, hovering, if you didn't know, was a narcissistic trait uh, by a narcissist who basically will say anything that they need to in order to get you to talk to them, right? Leo, this is a karmic relationship. So there's triggers, there's turmoil, resentment, lesson, lessons, letting go and loving you. So it's almost like uh, I do feel like by letting go of this karmic relationship, you're learning the lessons that you needed to learn. Okay. And, and you can still love this person, but sometimes, you know, it's just not the right time. We have the sword and rose. Okay. So this is clarity, truth. Uh, this is revelation, solidarity, honor, protection, and power. Okay, these are all things that you embody. What else? What are their intentions? Mm. We have palm tree. So stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility. I feel like they want all this with you, Leo, right? But are they going to take action? Uh, palm tree can also mean them um, possibly going to a state with palm trees, or maybe you guys live in a state that have palm trees. Ascending. So this is transcending obstacles. This is learning, expansion, a new phase, and preparing for union. This is what they're wanting. And then under the deck, okay, in the subconscious, we have girl with a snake. This is a empath and narcissist paradigm, okay? Somebody here was being charmed or used, and you need to enable boundaries. So Leo, like I said, you already intuitively know what is going on with this connection here. Yes, they want all of these things with you, but is it what they want from their heart? I'm not saying this person doesn't love you, Leo, but I am seeing a lot of narcissistic patterns. When someone is a narcissist and an empath, 
uh, this person lacks the empathy that a normal person or normal individual has, right? So you might look at something one way and feel empathetic towards it, but this person doesn't necessarily feel the feelings of love that you feel, okay? It's almost like this person was never taught how to love properly. And I feel like they need to learn within themselves how to do this so that in the future if you guys do rekindle or reconcile they can actually do that now some people don't change okay because they don't see and they don't see anything wrong with their behavior and that is uh, a paradigm where you don't want to get stuck in that type of relationship you can love somebody from afar that doesn't mean that you need to be with them and give them your your energy Life is too short, right? Life is too short on both ends, you know? And only you know intuitively what your gut tells you in regards to this connection. Because everybody's connection is different. Everybody's connection has different, um, different, um, things. So we have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And we also have forgiving and learning, right? As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Right, what do we have for Leo, please? Two more. So we have wedding. This situation involves marriage. You guys may have been in a seriously committed relationship. You guys could have been married, engaged, or just in a committed relationship for, you know, quite some time, right? It was, it was almost like a marriage. Okay, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. I do believe that you guys have the same... Um, religious beliefs you guys might believe um, in the same thing okay so that might be something that you guys might have clicked on okay or something that you guys um, just had the same interest in right that could have been even how you met oh there you go We have released your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. We have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And we have let your friends help you. So ask and ask for and accept support from others. Leo, I am feeling that you you didn't really have much freedom in this relationship okay uh whether this person was controlling or whether they just took up so much of your time that you it didn't allow you to really figure out who you are or maybe you lost yourself in this connection because we do have passion okay allow your heart and soul to sing with joy there was passion in the connection here no doubt but sometimes it takes a little bit more than passion to keep a connection, right? Definitely. So I'm going to go ahead and use my um, message deck here. So we have, there's no one that compares, right? We have, I don't have any words left. 
do we have here for Leo's Sun, Moon, and Rising? Um, I stay up at night thinking of you. Okay, this person's a love bomber. Again, something else just like hovering, just like the hovering technique. Okay, someone who was going to say what they need to say in order to uh, keep this connection with you, right? It's like they're going to talk and they're going to talk, but, they're, but are they going to take action? I stay up at night thinking of you. And then we have runner. So this person might have been the runner, okay? They might have ran from this connection. This might be something that they continuously do here. Okay. We need to grow alone because we can fix... We need to grow alone before we can fix this. And then we have your fam won't like me. Okay, there might have been like a family dynamic where uh, the family got involved here. Now is not the time. Interesting. One more shuffle here. We have I owe you an apology. This person knows they owe you an apology. I wasn't ready for all that love. Okay, yes. This person doesn't understand how to love, like I said. And then we have, I owe you an apology. And then under the deck, we have, I'm like a moth to your flame. Yeah, this person is, is very seduced by you, okay? They're very um, attracted to you, no matter what. Okay, but they'll definitely say what they need to say in order to get what they need from you. This person, I feel like, was using you for a lot of things, Leo, uh, and they just weren't showing you what you needed, okay? And they weren't giving you what you needed, more, more importantly, um, in this connection. Okay, Leo, I hope that those messages resonated. I hope that it gave you clarity. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, as always. Um, and I hope that you guys have a great week, okay? Bye.